today we're doing some heatless curls heatless waves this is one of the styles actually this one's more of a wave than a curl but this one was my favorite one so i did three styles two of them were more curly i'd say um but all of them i did after i had just washed my hair so it was mm, probably 90 percent dry and then i would do the hairstyle and then sleep on it and take it out the next day and then have my heatless style i didn't put any product in any of them before or after but i really should have because my hair does not hold a curl very well so i should have put product in while it was still a little bit damp and in the hairstyle and then it would have stayed for a couple more days but you know you could do whatever you want so the first one that we're about to get into i was a bit confused so i had to redo it once or twice <laughs> but try and follow along but i wanted all of them to be super easy so you don't need those wave formers or curling sticks or any of those gadgets <laughs> i just used hair ties for most of them and one thing that i'm sure everyone has in their house so let's get into the first one and we're going to need you need one of these you know which one i'm gonna do this is from a rope you can also use a big old ribbon but i think this one works best because it's fluffy so you get more of a bouncy curl i've tried this one other time and it did not work because i did it wrong because i've never seen the tiktok but you put it on the top of your head like this and you separate your hair in two let's try and be more precise this time Oh, yeah, that's why. Take it, wrap it all the way around, and then grab more hair, and then wrap it again. That makes more sense. Okay. I feel like this is not secure. Am I supposed to tie it at the end? Maybe I will, just... I don't know, because I don't want to put it in a bun. I'm going to tie it at the end, and then I'll wrap it around the top of my head. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, see, if I wrap it up like this, it's supposedly supposed to stay because you're wrapping it up. That's too much right now. So I'm just going to bring it up. Bring it up. <laughs> And then just tie these at the top. Do we think this is going to stay? Yes, I do. See, and then that's a little bit nicer to lay on. Or flat. Oh, it's really pulling out my hair now. Was it better work? Okay, see, in the morning, I had a dream that this did not turn out at all. My hair was straighter, actually, than when I put it up. So we'll see. This is actually falling a lot. They still seem to be somewhat intact, so I guess it's okay. Oh, well, I didn't even undo the hair tightens. It's just coming out. <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me? <laughs> Whoa, bro. Whoa! Actually... Oh. This is so nice oh wait what about the back of my head how does the back of my head look i can't see i have to check it doesn't look the best but look at the front pieces oh my god they're crazy so bouncy so bouncy a little too bouncy for me but i mean that's what i was asking for right look at that piece that's like straight up looks like i curled it with a curling iron i wish all the pieces looked like that oh actually look at this one this one's a good one too but there's some pieces back here that are just like, eh. Oh well, overall, overall I think it's pretty, pretty cute. Oh, so cute. This one was like almost a success. I wouldn't do it again, I don't think, because the sleeping with that thing in my head was so uncomfortable. That's why it like fell down because I had to keep pulling it if I was turning. Oh, it was so annoying. But I mean, these turned out pretty okay. Okay, well. See you again in like a week when I wash my hair next. <laughs> Freshly washed again, and today I think I'm gonna do the easiest one yet. And all you're gonna need is a comb to split your hair and some little clips. 
I have tiny little claw jaw clips. Claw, claw clips. Yes. And since I don't have enough, I think I also need to use some bobby pins. So we're gonna split our hair down the middle and we're gonna bring it up. So my hair is too short, so I can't bring mine up too high. And we're going to do a little bun. Just twist. Okay. I'm gonna use the clips. I'm using clips instead of hair ties because I think hair tie would more likely leave a dent. And I want some nice cute curls. You know? Okay, and same on the other side. Which way did I twist this one? Oh well. Okay, look good. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Alright, let's just take them out. Hey. It's just like, do we live in the 50s now? I just don't know what to do about this. I like that it feels like I have 10 times more hair than I actually do though. Maybe I could do like a thick pony. No, I hate it. I guess I should have done lower, low buns down here. But I didn't think that would be comfortable to sleep on. So I was like, high buns will work out great just as well. Obviously I was wrong. Can I like do the mom pin, mom pin like that? That look dumb. I just like hate it so much. <laughs> it's like curly, I guess, but it's just poofy. That's it. I know it'll like calm down a little bit, but it's not gonna calm down that much. <laughs> Maybe I should just put it back up in the buns, and that'll be my style for today. <laughs> Whatever. If you want some poof, you just gotta do some high buns. Okay, hopefully next week is better. See ya. Just want to say, my previous hairstyle actually wasn't bad. I was looking back at it and the back to look so cute. I was freaking out. <laughs> it was just like a lot more voluminous than I usually have my hair. So I was freaking out. But I thought it was pretty cute. So um, last night I washed my hair and then I fell asleep. So it's already dry. So I got to re-wet it. So I'm just going to wear the braids, doing braids today, um, until tomorrow. So we're splitting our hair in two again. I brush it up, separate the bangs. I'm gonna do two French braids just straight down the back, trying to make them not so tight. I'm taking bigger sections because I don't want my hair to come out crimped looking. I just want a nice wave. Okay, now I'm just going to start pulling it apart a little bit in hopes that it creates some bigger waves. Oh, cute! Now for the other side. I don't know why, but this side is always much harder to do <laughs> for me. I'm pulling it apart a little bit. So it's one o'clock right now, so I'm gonna leave these in all day and sleep in them tonight, and then I'll take them out tomorrow morning. And I just realized this is a two for one because I have a hairstyle for today and one for tomorrow. Moment of truth.
Wow, they actually look like really good today. Usually when I do braids, it's not this good. Holy. I think it's because I did the, I'm gonna do bigger sections so it doesn't look crimped. And like the back doesn't even look that bad either. Huh? Wow, am impressed. Best one. Best one? I feel like I, I wanna put something in it, but I don't wanna ruin it, you know? Why am I so surprised? I. <laughs> tried and true braids everyone knows the braids always work i guess we can end it here with this being the best one <laughs> well we all know the braids are the best obviously unless you want lots of volume then you gotta do the high buns actually next time i want to do low buns because i feel like that would be cute because i don't want all that volume but yeah braids are the best for me let me know which one you think is the best i guess that's it thanks for watching bye